heart that's lost And still we fear When I think about it I can see it clear Time moves fast But feels so slow Is this a test? Cause I don't wanna know Do you have pictures? Or even a single thought? The ring that I gave you Or the necklace that I bought Remember that fountain Or even that little shop I didn't expect this But you planned it from the start I don't know what to do What's up, Briefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zola Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, we're going to take a look at the Red Sea 130 and a tour of an LFS. Hector, what's the name of the LFS? Krabby Patty. Let's go. All right, guys, so today we're actually going to take a look and do a reef update on Hector's Red Sea 130. Guys, the tank looks crazy, crazy, crazy. There's a bunch of new coral. The fish are doing good. And an LFS tour um, of a store here in Davenport, Florida. Now, guys, before we go into this video, don't forget the easiest way to support this channel is to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It lets us know that you love what you're seeing. Hey, guys, I can't wait for you guys to see my shark. All right, guys, we're almost there. We're on the road. Um, so let's see what they have in store. All righty, guys. So if you guys didn't know, I actually just recently purchased a house. So I'm a little further out to the LFSs that we typically go to. So I'm going to take you to one of the LFSs closest to my house. And it's Krabby Patty's Aquarium. Hector, isn't he, these type of stores the ones where we find that infamous word that you always say? Hidden gems. Hidden gems. Check it out. All right, guys. So at Krabby Patties, they have a nice selection of fish. So I've seen fish that I typically don't see in other places. I said it's a hidden gem. And then it's got tons of different invertebrates. Over here we have tons of corals. You guys, if you guys are ever in the Davenport area, come check it out. Hey guys, take a look at all these different fish that they have here. Check out this sailfin. Look how beautiful he is. Huge. That was from the Red Sea, right, man? Yep, that's a Red Sea look sailfin it. tang. Such a different set of patterns compared to Manny's. Oh, Manny, look, your favorite. Purple tang. Yeah, that is my favorite. He's a big specimen too. Check this out. I got a baby sister for what you have in your display tank. Hector, they don't know they don't know that yet. Check it out. <laughs> the marine beta guys. Such a pretty fish. I mean honestly, it's very tough to see them in the LFS. I mean every time we go to the LFS, we always look for these guys and they don't have them. So the fact that crab we have patty. Look at this guy. Them, that's a beautiful looking. That's a black. Don't you need a clown for your tank, Manny? <laughs> I might. I'm a sucker for clowns. Oh, look at that. That's like a half naked. I think he has some boots on. Look at this guy still in the spotlight. What are you looking at? Are you looking at getting anything? You came earlier, didn't you? I came earlier, yeah. Wait till you guys see what I got. Are you looking at getting anything? I might, because I did see... My favorite section, which is the coral section. So I'm definitely gonna pick some coral up. So let's just see what I wanna get. Manny's been on a uh, SPS kick. So uh, we'll see. Is this Thor only saltwater? Do they have freshwater too? On the other side of this wall, we got freshwater. Let's check it out. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think it did. I think it had some charge. Yeah, and that thing's for five bucks? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. What do you get? So I got a Monty. It has a name, I just can't remember. It's green with red polyps. Do you know the name of that Monty? I think it's like a like a Christmas Monty or has a name. Guys, if you know the name, leave a comment below. It's super green with like red polyps. Wait till you see it in this tank, guys. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm also thinking of getting this bird's nest right here. Oh, that'd be nice, especially because you got that SPS kick. You're addicted. Alrighty, guys. So I picked up a green Monty. Oh, no, not, not a green Monty. A green bird's nest because that is a beginner SPS. So I'm hoping to see how that does in the tank. All right, guys, so they got tons of dry goods. They got the, the Kemi Pure. They have the Red Sea A and B, which is, if you want fat corals, I suggest. And it's nice to, nice to look at when it goes down in the water. Oh. Guys, they also have really cool return pumps, heaters, you name it. Hey, hey, look what they got here. C, Ch. Yeah, so they got a little bit of everything. Test kits, you name it. Anything you need. Parker, would you recommend coming to the store? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they have great deals. Uh, they have tons of fish, tons of corals, and it's not just a, a saltwater side. We also have the freshwater side too. So if you guys are in the hobby of freshwater, they have tons to choose from. So I definitely would. All right, guys. So let's get home because we got to get these corals acclimated. All right, bro. So we're here at your house, and it's time. It's time. It's time, it's time to look at. The Red Sea 130. It's been a while since we looked at your tank. Yeah. Now, guys, for the record, we did add some new coral, so some of them are still looking a little small. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably get a updated video, of course. But this tank is looking pretty good from the last time we saw it. Yeah. I mean, this tank been through everything. It's been through alkalinity spikes. It's been through accidentally putting salt in there. We're, we're not gonna put salt. In there. But uh, it's been through a lot and I feel like it's doing really great compared to where it was a few months ago. And like I told you guys, just really bought this house. So we literally just implanted this tank in here. And I think it's doing wonderful. Now bro, before we get too deep into this, bro, I like your shirt. Thanks. If you like the shirt, go to zootankboys.com. Get your own. All right, so talk to us a little bit about your tank. So let's right. pan it over here a little bit. We don't have an orange filter on just yet, but Hector, talk to us about the lighting, flow, what you got going on. All right, so I like to keep my stuff similar to how Manny has it. So I have two AI primes with the similar schedule that he has. I have all blues running, um, and they usually run around anywhere from 10 to 11 hours. I like to be able to see my tank, so I usually start it roughly uh, a little after I start work. So that way when I come home, I have it for like an hour or two where I can see my tank. So, what model is this tank? Because if, unless you've been in the hobby for a while, you may see it and say, wow, it's rimless, looks super cool, where can I buy this tank? Talk to us about the model. Okay, so this is what I call a retro tank. So it's uh, the Red Sea 130D. Um, it's an older tank, and it actually used to look similar to a BioCube, and the previous owner, um, he actually converted it into a rimless model. Correct, and I remember that. Guys, if you have been following the channel for a while, we did do a huge trek to pick this tank up. Tank up. It was about two hours away, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all the way, what was it? Like St. Augustine. Augustine. Saint, it was St. Augustine. We had to drive to St. Augustine. We and we, on the way back, we missed our exit, and we didn't realize it was like 40 minutes No, away. no, 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 scratch that. He missed our exit. Yeah, we ended up going it. an hour past where we were supposed to get off, guys. So, how many gallons are we talking? So it's roughly about 35 gallons. It's an all-in-one system. Um, so basically you have all your filtrations and stuff like that here in the back. And then you have about maybe 30 gallons in the front. Okay. Now I see you don't have a lid. Is this common? Do you have any jumpers? So I actually do have a lid. I have a yellow rasp in here and I don't want to take any chances. I've learned from Manny's mistakes. So I definitely don't want to take any chances to find fish chips on the floor. I actually do have a lid. I just kept it to the side here. 
so we can kind of take a top down shot if we need to. Okay, cool. So we'll show you guys how that lid looks like. It's a, it's one of those DIY red sea lids, and they were perfect. Um, I mean, we made a video actually building one. Mm -hmm. So Hector, flow. What are we talking? What do you have for regular flow? What do you use? So I have a generic power head here. I have an MP10 here, Ecotech Marine. And then we actually have some upgraded pumps here for the uh, return. Okay, now I do see some AI Primes. As you guys know, we love our AI Primes. You have two here. They look great. For the corals that you have in here, I mean, they seem to do the job pretty well. Oh yeah, honestly. Uh, this right here is one of my favorite corals right now. It's the uh, Blue Tip Torch. It does amazing. It actually gets a little bigger than that. Okay, so enough talking. Why don't we get in there and talk about your corals and see what you got, because it's been a while since everybody's seen it. Let's do it. Alrighty, so if you guys see this big bunch of scrambled eggs here, it's actually on a circle plate. Um, if you guys check out our Instagram, you guys would have seen how, how much it actually started off with and just how much it's grown in there. It's actually encrusting onto the back wall there. I got some fire and ice down here. We've got some yellow submarines, which I'm thinking about moving because I don't feel like they get enough love there. Um, we have some Playboy bunnies. We have some blood shots, sweet tarts, top shelf aquatics. We have sunny D's. And then we have some Utter Chaos. I love Utter Chaos. I feel like, honestly, they're one of the most underrated zoanthids oh, yeah, in the game. so much color to your tank. Like, guys, I, we're literally just using a clip-on lens filter, and look how vibrant that is. Mm -hmm. And these here, they're not quite open. I actually just recently got these today. These are actually the, the goblins on fire. Um, hopefully, when they open up, we'll be able to update you on that. Got some pixie dust. Nice little colony there. And those are actually worldwide coral pixie dust, correct? Right? Yep. And then I have some nightmares down well, hold here. Hold on, what, are, what is that? Those are orange. Are those oxides. orange oxides? I didn't know you had those. Yeah, those are orange oxides. Oh, and the ones up there are Fruit Loops. Yep, we got some Fruit Loops there. I thought those were Fruit Loops until I saw the difference. Again, one of the most underrated Zoas. They grow really great, they give you a great pop of color. They're super hardy, guys. And then, like I said, we have the nightmares down here. Now these here, if you guys seen our fragging episode, I actually gave half of the frag to Manny where he's growing out in his tank too. And they're doing great. Oh, these are one of my favorites right now. Check the color on these. What are, Hector, do you know the name of those or no? I actually don't. I, I got them at Top Shelf and they were uh, no names, so. All right guys, well if you've seen these Zoas before, point at them so they see which ones we're talking about. Those, if you guys have seen those Zoas before, leave a comment below. Um, at first, they looked like scar faces when we got them, but they've definitely morphed, and they look gorgeous. Yeah, they look they great. Yeah, and these here are actually no names that I got in um, in Living Reef. Now, if you look, they kind of look like firework polyps. Yeah, those are pretty nice. Yeah, we got some cat eyes over here, and then we have some money shots that, uh, courtesy of Manny. Yeah, that came from my big mother colony. If you guys have been following the Instagram, I had at least 50 polyps. And something went up, got rogue on them. I don't know if it was a bacteria or something. And I had to frag the colony. So I had a whole bunch of frags. Focus, focus. There we go. So I had to frag the colony. And I gave Hector some. I kept some in multiple tanks just to up the, the survivability factor on them. What else we got? All right, so we're gonna head over here on the left side to the frag rack. So this right here, one of my prized possessions at the moment, these are exospheres, spheres, sorry, exospheres. Yeah, these right here, other than the GMK, it might be the most expensive Zoa that, that we have in the Zoa tank, boys. No, definitely. Got it for a steel and aqua shell up. Then we also have these, got these at Living Reef for a steel as well. These are the tasers. I actually had a huge colony back then, but they melted on me. Man, it was the worst day of my life. They were so big, huge polyps. I miss them. Got some newcomers here to the tank as well. So I ended up getting this here. It's a splatter, right? That looks like not a traditional splatter, but yeah, dude, that's a definitely a splatter. And yeah, so it actually came with three heads. Amazing deal. And guys, he got that one today, a couple hours ago. Look yeah. how open it is already. Got it at Krabby Patties, as well as this one here. 
that's a sleeper. Now guys, if you see that little mucus, that's a snail that we have been fighting with for a long time. I crushed its its shell and it still just came back. A lot of people add glue. Oh, that's smart. And that'll kind of nip it in the butt. Guys, one of my favorite euphilias in this tank. So he's a little ticked off because they actually just moved him from the opposite side of the tank. Yeah, he usually, it's so big, he covers a lot of the section. Look, look, look at my employee of the month right here. Always working, always working. It's a fighting con. Guys, look how white the sand bed is. That is courtesy of that sucker right there and the cucumber. Yeah, the tank's looking crazy, but we gotta talk about this beast right here. All right, so that beast right there is an Echinata. I believe it's an orange crush Echinata. Um, one thing that's pretty cool about it, if you look right there, it almost looked like it was grafted. It, not saying that it was, it's probably wild. But um, look at that, it's, it's like a little neon patch there. Yeah, this thing is huge, guys. I mean, it's easily five inches across. And guys, if you've been following this channel, this, ta this tank has literally made a 360. It looks He's stunning. It, and like I said, half of these schools were just put in here. So, you know, you have the Euphilia Garden. There's a gold hammer down there. Um, that are gonna do great. It's just a matter of letting them open up. Now, let's talk about this right here. I mean, that's a coral that most people would not put in their tank, the, the pulsing zinnia. Yeah, so everybody says that pulsing zinnias grow like weeds, and that's probably true. But in my tank, they've been kind of at bay in that one corner of the rock, and they're great for filtration. Um, they definitely help out my tank when it comes to filtration. Um, and I, I like them. I like how they pulse and stuff like that. I feel like they, they bring a nice cool effect to my tank. Yeah, this tank is looking awesome, dude. Looking super, super good. And we got Big Mama Lobo right here. Oh, uh, we can't, we almost forgot about that one. Yeah. Had her for about a year, I would say. You've had her for some time. Now, if you guys see this guy here, that's just a torch that was just moved. It's a Rasta torch. So, Typically, it's pretty happy, but right now, we pulled the camera out and she decided to go hide. So, when she opens up, we'll give you guys a quick little update. But guys, this tank is looking ridiculous. Now, I just moved this one, so this one's a little ticked off as well. Um, it's actually one of my new mushrooms. Um, I'm not sure if it's a disco, it, uh, a bounce disco. It's a bounce, that's for sure. I don't think it's open right now. No, it's definitely not open yet, but we'll definitely update you and show you some photos on Instagram once it is open. All right guys, so we just turned the flow off because if you guys know me, you know that I'm probably one of the biggest fans of top-down shots with no flow because this is not a common shot that we could usually see on most reef aquariums. Dude, that torch is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like my torch does not look that good. Oh, I forgot to mention these last two here. So I, got a, I actually just recently got a Duncan today from Krabby Patties. And then this one here is a new addition as well, that A-can, stunning. Yeah, everything's looking so good. Oh look, they're, they're opening up. Yeah, there you go guys. That'll give you a little peek at what those look like. But yeah, dude, tank's looking great, man. Oh yeah, check this guy out. King of the, king of the throne right there. All right guys, so something that we're gonna show you in this video if you saw earlier, Hector made a comment. I'll take the lens off for a second. Hector made a comment about a shark in this tank. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, guys, so I have a shark in my tank, and he feeds on flesh. Human flesh. So, this is for scientific purposes. Please don't do this. So once Wait. My... So, come on, guys. Hey, quiet, quiet. That's Mason, and that's Rocco. They came to visit. So there's a damsel in here, which is uber aggressive. Like the most aggressive fish I've ever had. Yeah, so Hector's gonna put his hand in the tank and you're gonna see this guy literally goes after him no matter what. So let's put the lens back on. Let's see if we can get a good shot of him. Look, he's already looking at my hand. Yeah, he's already going for he's it. He's already ready for it. All right, put your, put your, put your, yeah, put your hand in there. Oh, there oh. he goes. Where is he? Where is he? I feel like we should play the Joss music. There he is. Look at him. Look at this. He want, he's stuck in my hand. Yeah, this guy's aggressive. He wants it. He wants all the smoke. Let's try it again. 
There he goes. Ooh, yep, there, there he goes. goes. He likes to pull on my hairs and my and my. There he arm. goes. I mean, that's so just... I, I literally can't move anything. Put it. Put your hand. Put your hand. So you get a better. He goes for the back of my hand because he likes to bite you. Guys, this tank is looking stunning. Like I'm trying to focus on you, and all I see is those bright corals. So I think you did a pretty good job, man. Thanks, man. I try. I try. Guys, leave a comment below. Let us know what corals would you like to see. Guys, we almost forgot about him. The big neon toadstool. Oh, yeah. So this big, big neon toadstool I actually got from uh, Trash Panda Aquaculture. Shout out to him, Joe. Um, he's been doing wonderful. He was actually probably not even half that size when I first got him. Yeah, guys, leave a comment below. What coral do you want to see in here? I'm a fan of the clean sand bed, so I tell them to leave it like that and just stack the rest of this tank up where you don't see any rock. What do you guys think? Let us know. All right, we first. So we hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zola Tank Boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tank update and... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before this video is over, guys, there's something that is going to come soon. Okay, don't look too long. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, buy a shirt. Till next time, Zola Tank Boys out.